So Julia, you've been looking at Down syndrome and specifically physical therapy practice. What was the background to this? I mean, were you were you wanting to know what is happening or, or why? Yeah, well, we know that people are practicing in lots of different ways, and we don't have a lot of good evidence about how to practice for kids with Down syndrome. So we were really wondering, well, what are fit therapists doing? What are physical therapists doing? And how are we treating kids with Down syndrome? Is it similar across the country? Is it different across the United States? You know, what's just what does practice look like? Right. Now, this is a big mm -hmm. body of experience. It's American experience. And of course, mm -hmm. we're interested for, for the whole of the world to glean on, on your knowledge yeah. here. But what did you do in the study here in the USA, in the USA? So we called, um, sorry, we we purchased um, mailing addresses from the APTA, the American Physical Therapy Association, for a thousand pediatric physical therapists. Um, and we sent we sent them out and we asked a survey, basically, you know, um, how many kids do you see a year with Down syndrome? Um, what are their common impairments or problems on the body functions and structures level? Uh, um, what are common activity limitations you see? How do you treat these children? What are some common um, tests and measures that you would do with them? And also, what, what do you do that's innovative or that you think is innovati innovative? And um, uh, what do you want to do but you feel limited and you can't do? Right now, the, the, the fact is that physical therapists do get children with Down syndrome. Mm -hmm. So this is something they definitely need to do and they do a lot of. What kinds of things came out of this survey then? Well, a, a lot of things. We, we found that, um, we found that uh, physical therapists are working um, a lot on function, which is good. We think that that's probably a good finding. Um, they tended to say that kids had functional impairments and that they were treating functional impairments. They said um, that kids with Down syndrome tended to have problems with joint stability and alignment, and they also were treating joint stability and alignment. So, um, and then also the other big finding was they said muscle performance, so um, strength and power and endurance, and they're treating that. So, so it seems like even though there's a huge range of what we do as physical therapists, um, it seems like we are treating the problems that we're seeing, which is really good, uh, but we're doing it in an individual way for families. Yeah. Right. Now, what sorts of guidance is there out there for physical therapists in the U.S. and worldwide for dealing with uh, the best outcome, best management of uh, Down syndrome? So, so not a lot. <laughs> There's not a lot of guidance. There's very limited research or there tends to be research that's done as pilot studies and then it's never really performed in a bigger uh, randomized control trial. So um, we have a lot of snippets of information that kind of guide us. But um, we do know just generally with kids that we need to be thinking about functional movement and that we need to be working on functional goals and we know that as with typical kids kids with down syndrome respond well to practice um, and get better um, improve their function when we practice movements with them uh, we know that they respond well to strength training um, and that when they do strength training that helps that helps them with their functional movement um, we have some specific interventions that we know work for kids with Down syndrome. So uh, we have a emerging body of literature saying that orthotics um, help kids with Down syndrome um, stabilize their feet and ankles so that they can walk better and balance better. Uh, and we also know that s specific interventions like treadmill training, which work on practicing that stepping pattern actually influence the age of walking onset. Um, so, so we know some things, but we just don't have a huge body of literature about what is good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there any evidence that if you take, for instance, the same impairment of function mm -hmm. in a child with Down syndrome and a child who's another category of patient, is there a commonality? And can you actually make the same kind of um, therapy interventions? 
So if you, so Down syndrome's um, hallmark is this low, low tone hypotonia um, and muscle weakness. So there's a huge category of children who have hypotonia. Um, so we can, we don't know for sure, but we think we can probably um, do some crossover in terms of looking at kids with hypotonia. So some of the literature is on kids with hypotonia generally. And um, again, we're looking at strengthening and alignment issues. Right. Now, how much of an evidence base is there already for physical therapists to draw on when they're uh, helping a, a patient with Down syndrome? I think... I think, like I said, it's 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 pretty minimal. I mean, there are there is articles, there are um, there is an evidence base. However, um, we don't have multiple articles reconfirming findings. We don't have um, many large randomized control trials. So we have a lot of narrower, smaller types of studies all pointing us in a similar direction. So we're building that database, but we just don't have a very robust set of data yet. Mm. Now, it's very important that a survey like yours has been done. What do you think are the big things coming out of this in terms of practice? I mean, how do you think you can now guide physical therapists to be more appropriate in their interventions? So I think that the physical therapists are actually doing a fairly good job. You know, people, they're trained to look at what the functional impairments are or functional limitations are in the, in the children and think about the goals. And they're really working functionally with kids. Um, but I would love to tell therapists to, even in the um, uh, exam, to think about function first. So what we found was that they reported problems on that body stru structure and function level of the ICF. So they were looking at physical impairments. But when they were treating, they're looking at, at the activity level. So there seems to be a disconnect between what they're measuring and what they're treating. So maybe we should kind of look to put those things together. Do you think there's a possibility of having some clinical guidelines emerging? It sounds like it would be rather difficult to do that. So I think there's a possibility. Uh, we said in the paper that we think the next step is to try to get a clinical practice guideline. Um, it would probably be preliminary and probably hopefully need to be updated fairly frequently because the rate of um, studies that are coming out is increasing. So so it's possible. We just haven't started it yet. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, now, could you summarize then what what your survey has achieved in, in very brief outline then for me and, and what's come out of it what, in terms of guidance? Um, so what it's achieved is it's it's given us an idea of what's happening across the United States in terms of how people are treating uh, children with Down syndrome. Um, and it's probably helping it can help physical therapists to kind of see if they're on the right track in terms of what what's common in kids with Down syndrome and what they're seeing in their individual patients. And I think it could help them also recognize that that maybe they're missing some things that they need to also be looking at. So, um, for example, um, cardiopulmonary issues are not being treated um, at the level that they're being reported. Could I have then, I know this sounds quite difficult, but um, a take home message of some practical messages that you would give us interim guidance for physical therapists? It's a little bit hard to say. So because we didn't really look at what the best thing to do is, we just looked at what people are actually doing. Um, my guidance really can be um, really it seems like most therapists are really looking at joint stability and alignment, functional motion, and muscle performance. And I think that's a really great starting point for anybody, but also to think about all the other things that could be going on in a child with Down syndrome and not to forget that there's other systems that we can impact um, mm. in our treatment that are affected. So in fact, with a child with Down syndrome, you've got to be multitasking. Right, <laughs> absolutely. In terms of the tests and measures so that physical therapists know what they're doing and how much they're doing, what's your guidance there? So the data is saying that the, that the tests and measures that 
physical therapists are using for kids with Down syndrome tend to be norm reference tests. So tests to determine if the child is developing at a typical level or not. And we think that's most popular because um, insurance or federal law in the US is requiring some type of norm reference test for eligibility. Um, but as physical therapists, that those type of tests are not great at showing change over time. So we also need to be thinking about tests that are criterion referenced, like the GMFM, to help us know if we're making a difference with our treatment. Is there a hope, do you think, of getting some of the evidence? It sounds rather difficult to do uh, studies, clinical studies, properly controlled ones, but could there be uh, uh, data to drive some of this practice in the future? Oh, there absolutely can be data to drive some of this, uh, to drive practice in the future. Um, and, and, you know, we're working on it and slowly the data uh, is growing, the database is growing. Um, but we just have to keep, keep plugging away at it. You know, kids with Down syndrome are really variable. So one child does not look like another. So we really need to have larger data sets than what we have had, but, um, you know, that's, that's coming. It's on the way. We just haven't quite gotten there yet.